Hi everyone, Johnny here from WP Johnny with another life-changing WordPress tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install CyberPanel with Open Lightspeed. I'm going to start the install and then uh, once it's running, I'll talk you guys through everything I did and, and why I chose the options that I did. Okay, I chose CentOS, uh, the default is going to be 64-bit region, choose whatever region is nearby, uh, you know, your, your visitors. I choose Linode standard, the, the $20 a month. It's the two CPU, four gig plan, Linode label. How about WP Johnny Cyber Magic? Okay, root password, Cyber Magic. Oops, Cyber Magic one. Okay, we're ready to go. I hit create and Linode is gonna start provisioning the server right now. Um, there you go, there's the bar. So it's provisioning the server. So um, right off the bat, uh, some of you are wondering, like, why did I choose uh, Linode versus DigitalOcean or Vulture or RamNode, UpCloud or the Amazon or Google, whatever. Um, I chose Linode because it's very, you know, it's easier for newbies to get up and running for two main reasons. One, right off the bat, you, uh, I, I don't know if you guys saw, I got to choose a root password, right? Um, some of the other VPS companies, they send you the root password into your email. Then you have to go digging through your email and then, you know, remember a super long string and then paste it back and forth, right? Um, so that, you know, just for the case of this tutorial, I just want to be able to type in a simple password. Later on, you guys really do, uh, you, you should go like, you know, go one of those uh, strong password generator like this or something like that. And, um, and then, you know, you, you generate a password and then even with the, what you generate, you can even like change it up a little, right? Cyber something. Anyways, okay, uh, the, it's done provisioning and I'm gonna click launch console and I have the web console. So, it, okay, great, it's booted and it's gonna be root cyber magic one. First thing I do is the yum updates. So this is gonna update all the packages on the server, the, the Linux packages. Um, so I just want to update these packages before I start the install. I'm going to pick Y for yes. It's going to ask me again, Y for yes. And then now it's running. So the two reasons why I chose Linode, one is because I got to choose a root password, although I will recommend for you later on that, you know, choose a hard one when you do it. Second is that Linode's uh, web console is super easy. You can copy and paste uh, Linux commands right into there. The other, uh, the other VPS companies, their web console doesn't allow you to, to copy and paste like with your mouse, right? Like you can't paste into here like this. So because of that, you're going to have to install like an SSH program onto your computer. Then you have to connect to SSH and like, you know, figure out what port, you know, each VPS company is using a different port. This is very basic like Linux admin stuff, but for, you know, newbies, non-command line junkies, start with Linode. It's a little simpler. Okay, um, now you may also be wondering why I chose the plans that I did. So, uh, you know, I'll show you here. I'm going to go to the pricing. So there's the standard plans. There's dedicated CPU, GPU, high memory. These three plans, the, the, the dedicated CPU, GPU, and high memory plans, these are for special like application needs. Maybe you're running a gaming server, or you're mining for Bitcoin, or you're crunching data, you know, heavy processing, maybe it's a rendering server. Um, but for a web server, you just need the standard one. Web servers actually, uh, you know, you can cache a lot of that and you, you just don't need it. Why, why spend the extra money if you don't have to? Okay, um, this is almost done. Okay, it's gonna be almost done soon. So I need to jump on here and get the cyber panel install command. So we're gonna go to cyber panel install and they have two. They have one for the free and one for the, the enterprise version. We're doing the do-it-yourself cheap cheap way. We're going to do the free. So there you go. I'm going to copy this. Go right into the command line. And come on. I know it's going to finish. Boom. There it is. And then here, the beauty of Linode's uh, web console. Oh, my God. I can just paste right into here. And I hit enter. And there you go. It begins. It's going to ask me like five, six questions. Okay. Pick one for cyber panel. Pick one for cyber panel with open light speed. And then right here, default is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I pick D, okay. Uh, to JS deliver, I put N for no. The rest, I'm gonna put yes for everything. Memcache extension for PHP, yes. Light speed, memcache, yes. 
Redis extension for PHP. Yes. Install Redis. Yes. In case you're wondering what all of those were, those were modules, server modules for object caching. Uh, object caching is something that, like it uses your memory to like store data in memory so that your hard drive doesn't have to look for the data every time. Um, it, it allows your website to load a little faster and perform a little faster, especially when you have a lot of traffic. Now, if you're running this web server for clients, uh, I'm sorry, not for clients, but for many, if you have many websites on there, uh, many users on there, you may not want to enable object caching because they're going to eat up all the memory. Okay, so you might want to save your memory for the server. So you disable that option. That, that's why when you buy cheap shared hosting, they don't have like, you know, mem caching available for you. Or if they do have it, they, they have like the slow crappy version. Um, by the way, if you're, re re uh, if you're wondering which is better, memcache or Redis, uh, Redis is, should be the new default. Redis is better. Just if you have to ask, Redis is better. Um, but yeah, so if the server's for yourself, for your applications, for, you know, it's your stuff, your critical stuff, go ahead and spoil yourself, you know, put all that, <laughs> enable all that object caching. Okay, so uh, while this thing is, is running, um, let's go back here. So anyways, if you don't know what you're doing, pick the $20 a month plan, two CPU cores, four gigs of RAM. Um, that's a nice little chunk of power. And if your website's not so bloated, it can handle like, you know, like a million hits a month even. So depends, right? If you need something faster, you can reset, you can upgrade or downgrade. Okay. And cyber panel will, you can run it on the $5 a month server, by the way, you totally can. I just say, just pay the $20 a month. That's all you have to pay. It's so cheap guys. All right. So, um, here's how you resize, go to your thing, go to right here, uh, go to Leno dashboard, go to resize from here. You choose different size. And you auto reset, you hit submit, it shuts down your server, it resizes it, it boots it back up. Okay, um, so uh, let's talk about uh, what's the hype? What's all the hype between CyberPanel? So um, CyberPanel is the first control panel that runs uh, Lightspeed natively. So what does that mean? Well, first let's just go to Lightspeed, right? So Lightspeed is a web server. It's a high performance web server. So um, I'm sure you guys heard of Apache. Apache was the standard. It was cool. It was all that. Um, but now it's kind of old school, right? Um, Apache is now considered, it's kind of like resource hungry, uses a lot of memory, uses a lot of CPU. Therefore, when you run on Apache web server, your sites don't load as fast. Okay. Um, an expert Apache admin can configure it and do that, you know, all that to make it run super fast, but that defeats the point, right? We don't have time. We just want the fastest web server. Well, the next best thing is Nginx. Nginx is super popular um, among all the largest websites today. Nginx is the most common one. Um, the only thing is that Nginx is not compatible. It's not backwards compatible with Apache stuff. So if you're used to HT access, or you're used to using certain um, like control panels, like cPanel and all that, you need Apache or something that is Apache compatible. So anyways, Nginx, high, high performance solution. Just checking the install. Yep, still going fine. Nginx, high performance uh, web server. But now uh, we also have Lightspeed. So Lightspeed is really cool. So Lightspeed, the company, they have two versions of their web server. They have Lightspeed Enterprise. It's the paid version. You pay a little bit of money. It makes your server run so much faster. Um, aside from performance, it also has security. It has like special like configuration options. It's just highly, it's just more configurable. Um, I like it. I like it better than Nginx. Okay, Lightspeed also has, okay, if you don't want to pay, some people are a little stingy or, you know, they just want a small web server. They don't want to pay. They also have Open Lightspeed. It's like the open source community version of Lightspeed. It is free. It has most of the, the features that the Lightspeed Enterprise has. Okay, it has many of the same features. It's high performance. It is secure. It's easy to configure. It's compatible. It's it's almost 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 like 100% backwards compatible with like Apache stuff. Uh, okay. And what is um? So why am I such a Lightspeed fan? Why do I like Lightspeed over at Nginx? It's one thing. Lightspeed has a native server caching plugin. So, okay, you see that right here, plugins available for WordPress, Magento, Joomla. Uh, I don't know which one of these is like Joomla, uh, Drupal, Concrete5, what's that, something for, something for. Um, 
Okay, or this is penguin. Okay, is it penguin? So, um, Lightspeed comes with a native server caching uh, plugin. Now, uh, Apache has had one. Apache, you know, they used like, okay, here, Turpentine, or they used Varnish. Nginx, back in the days, people would put Nginx with Varnish. Now, Nginx has its own uh, built in fast CGI server caching cap capacity. It is very fast, it is great. Uh, I love it as well. It's awesome. But here's the thing, Lightspeed has a native cache plugin for all these different CMSs. So I don't know if you've ever, okay, just checking, just checking. I don't know if you guys have ever installed like a cache plugin for your WordPress site. Most of you probably tried something like WP Rocket, Swift Performance, WP Fastest Cache, W3TC, that awful horrible one, Cache Enabler, all those, okay, Comet Cache, that's enough, Bore Labs Cache, um, I, I tried it all, man. I played with on Breeze, Breeze. That's another one. Okay, so all those cache plugins, they run at the software level. They run at the PHP level, or they use like um, the server rewrites to do their caching. The fastest caching is done at the server level. Okay, so Nginx has their fast CGI. Lightspeed has their light, Lightspeed cache, caching ability. But here's the thing. Lightspeed has their special WordPress plugin. It's called Lightspeed WordPress Cache Plugin. And in there, it's full of features. It's full of features, image optimization and, and, and caching this and configuring that and, and messing with your CSS and JSS, optimizing every little possible bit of your website. Um, and it's got tons of features that are like, you know, beginner friendly, user friendly for beginners, but also tons of advanced features for like the developers and the server admin guys. So, I mean, that alone just sets it above anything else. Apache doesn't have its own WordPress plugin. Nginx doesn't have its own WordPress plugin. Nginx is super fast if you have like a static site, but if you wanna do some like, I don't know, object caching, or you wanna do some other kinds of like just advanced stuff, advanced optimization, you have to, you have to install like a mix of different plugins, or you need like an Nginx like server admin to go in and do stuff. But with Lightspeed, you just need the plugin. You can kind of get by, right? Go on forums, ask a bunch of questions, or just, you know, try the settings and break the site yourself, right? And then beg for help on the forums. Okay, so this cyber panel, um, yeah, sometimes you might see little scary messages like fix permissions or error. Yeah, there you go, there was error or something like that. It's fine, it, it'll work, it'll go through. Um, Okay, uh, about Cyber Panel. Uh, so we already talked about Lightspeed. This is why it's my favorite, high performance, secure, easy configurable, uh, backwards compatible with Apache, has its own cache plugin. Okay, Cyber Panel, how is this thing changing the game? So Cyber Panel, man, this is so cool. Uh, there's two kinds of control panels for web servers. You have the traditional control panels like cPanel, Plesk, Direct admin, okay, those are the big name ones. There's the, there's some lesser, lesser like not as part Froxler, ISP config and all that. Those panels, they install onto your server and then, right, you guys have used it for shared hosting, um, you know, uh, to run your server. And then you have the cloud control panels. These are like uh, grid pane, run cloud, spin up WP, uh, Laravel Forge, server pilot. Uh, Cloudways, uh, Cluster CS, uh, there, there's a bunch of them out there. Out there. So these, uh, same way, uh, you go to their servers and you <laughs> install it onto your server, but instead of logging into your server to, to run the panel, you log into their website and then it connects to your server, right? It's like a puppet master with strings into all your web, your web server configurations. So here's the big thing. Um, out there, there are free server panels like Webmin, Vesta CP, and all that, and some other small ones. A lot of them are kind of, they're either buggy, they're kind of abandoned, they're not as secure, or maybe they don't have as many features, or um, they're just really hard to install, or they're kind of hard to use. They're kind of clunky, cumbersome, they're not as user-friendly, um, all kinds of reasons, okay? Or maybe they're, they're just not compatible with all the software that you want to use. Here's a cool thing, um, all the other, uh, you know, the, the higher, higher level control panels out there, they cost money. They cost anywhere from $5 to $30 a month. Cyber panel, just check in. Okay. Cyber panel has two versions. If you install cyber panel with OLS, open light speed, it is free. So you can get a free uh, control panel 
and with that runs with a super awesome open light speed. That's really cool. Now, if you want to pay, okay, if you want to use Cyber Panel with um, the the paid version of Lightspeed, the higher version of Lightspeed, Lightspeed Enterprise, it costs whatever X amount of dollars a month. You guys can go go to this website. <laughs> I just burped. You can go to the website, look at these plans later. Uh, you know, maybe the pricing will change by then. But here's the thing: um, How is Cyber Panel? How is it? Is it truly easy to use? Yes, it is. Does it have all the features? Yes, it does. It has file manager, it has staging. You can install brand new WordPress sites in one click. You can install SSL in one click. Um, you can create users. You can, can you know, restart little services. You can see like how much resources are being used. So uh, it's really easy, guys. Uh, it has emails, okay? Only, usually only the traditional control panels have the email. Oh, wow, it's done already. So usually only the emails have the uh, emailing uh, that, that install email capability like cPanel and Plesk and all that. The other guys like RunCloud and GridPane and, and all of them, they don't allow emailing. So you have to go get your emails from somewhere else. Okay, so here you go. Uh, you, to get to your server panel, you basically go to the IP and then to the cyber panel uh, port, which is so, you, so here's a server IP just so you, so you have an idea where this, all this is coming from. Your server IP. 4503862 blah blah okay same thing 4533862 we're using the the default admin user and password okay so let's get there there's the port again 8090s cyber panel port obviously i don't have an ssl certificate generated yet let's jump in guys admin 1234567 guys and we are done we are in we are finished you can create users websites uh you know ftp you can create ftp accounts your email accounts you can see look your server resources um when the day comes and you say hey i i don't want to be cheap anymore i want to upgrade to the the latest and greatest just go to server status light speed status right so you you go to Lightspeed uh the website and you buy um a light speed enterprise license and you enter the key into here but uh guys so you're pretty much ready to go um you know you can totally use this can you uh, is this server panel easy to use for a beginner yeah it's a full feature panel do you need a sysadmin do you ever have to visit the command line uh yes maybe for a certain for a few things you might have to visit the command line but guys for your do-it-yourself high performance vps server the price is free cyber panel and ols is free and then you just pay for the vps and you're good to go give it a try have fun uh, if you need more guides you know who to ask. Once again, I'm Johnny from WP Johnny. Thanks for watching.